figure out if doing more homework means getting a higher test grade. In this lesson, you will learn how to interpret a scatter plot by identifying clusters and outliers. Let's review scatter plots. A scatter plot is a pictorial representation of two pieces of data that have been collected from the same source. In this scatter plot, the x axis represents the number of homework assignments completed out of 10 possible assignments, while the y axis represents the test score earned by this same student. Once we draw the graph, we can look at the graph and draw conclusions about the relationship between the two pieces of data collected. In this case, we would use this to identify the relationship between completed homework and test scores. A common mistake when studying clusters and outliers is assuming that there will always be a cluster and or an outlier, but that is not always the case. In some cases, such as this graph, there is no cluster of points, therefore there is no outlier. Some scatter plots will have a cluster, but will not have an outlier because the points um, are in such a strong relationship. Let's look at this graph of homework completed versus the test score. As I look at it, I notice that these points form a tight cluster in an upward pattern. When we think about points clustering on a scatter plot, these clusters can be in a form of a line or a curve. The tighter these clusters are, the stronger the relationship is between the two pieces of data that have been collected. Looking at this graph, the points are pretty close together, so I can conclude that there is a strong relationship between homework and test scores. You may have noticed that every time we looked at the graph and the clusters on the graph, there was always one point that was not included in the circle. This point is called an outlier because it lies outside of the cluster. Sometimes outliers occur because of an error in graphing the data, but sometimes outliers tell us something important about the data that we collected. This outlier shows us that a student completed all 10 of the assignments. However, they only made a 60 on their test. Let's think of some possible reasons for this. The student could have completed all 10 work homework assignments, but not really understood what they were doing, therefore never mastered the material and still making a low test grade. Or the student could have experienced test anxiety. Although they knew the material, they may have frozen up and not been able to perform the normal test. Or the student could have just been inaccurate in their reporting when they told the person collecting the data how many homework assignments they completed. Because there was such a strong clustering of points and because there was only one outlier, we can still draw the conclusion that doing more homework does mean getting a higher test grade most of the time. So it would still be in our best interest to complete our homework. In this lesson, you have learned how to interpret scatter plots by identifying clusters and outliers.